Today we're going to demonstrate how to adjust or calibrate your Rotronic water activity probe via the benchtop unit hygrolab. It's important to note you want the room or the environment you're in to be of good temperature stability. The first step in the procedure is to select a humidity standard. In this case, we have 35% RH, Certified Rotronic Humidity Standard. We will select a glass ampule, a 14 millimeter sample cup with a fiber disc pad inserted. That comes with the humidity standard. And of course, you have your sample cup holder and the Rotronic AW water activity probe. The first step you're going to want to do is place a fresh fiber disc pad at the bottom of your 14 millimeter sample cup. These pads are provided with the humidity standard kit. Next, take the glass ampule, tap to ensure the liquid is at the bottom, carefully break at the perforation, and empty the contents onto the fiber disc pad. Once you've emptied the contents completely, carefully discard the glass ampule. Now, simply place the sample cup into the sample cup holder with the cover removed. Place your Rotronic water activity probe on top of the sample cup holder so that it fits firmly and snugly. Once we've completed the sample preparation, we want to move now to the HygroLab main screen. There are several screens for which you can start this procedure, but for today's demonstration, I want to be sure we're on the home screen. You can get there by pressing the home button icon in the top right of the display. From here, we want to start the process by adding a new measurement. You can do that by pressing the orange plus icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and acknowledge OK, and the green bar indicates a successful new measurement has been added. Our next step is to hit press the icon with the dial again at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You'll now be brought to this display and you want to make sure the Cal RH tab is highlighted. You will then go to the right hand and press the three sliding bar icon which will bring you to this display mode here. You'll see Cal settings displayed as well as the reference table. It's important now to select the humidity standard that you've chosen. In this instance, we've chosen a 35% RH, so from the drop-down menu, we're going to select that. You want to be sure that the stability temperature is set to 0.1 and the humidity stability is set to 0.01. Once we've made these selections, we want to save. Green bar at the top indicates we've successfully saved these settings. And at this point, we are now ready to begin the measurement. We can do that by pressing the green start button in the bottom left hand corner. You can see that we are in measurement mode by the spinning arrows. And we also have trend indicator bars pointing yellow vertical green horizontal, yellow downward, indicating that the unit is looking to reach equilibrium or humidity and temperature stability. This process, depending on the humidity standard, can take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes to reach equilibrium. Once the measurement has completed, you will see next to the result an OK, an RH will have a check mark, and temperature will have a check mark. What we now want to do is save the calibration point. Once we've saved the calibration point, you'll see the new display appear. It'll populate the reference table with the reference indicated and the measured value indicated. From here, we want to proceed to our second point. We recommend three points, lowest to highest. It is important to mention that each calibration point influences the accuracy of the calibration curve. 
Adding the same point multiple times can disrupt the process. Please do not add the same calibration point more than once. So we'll want to enter a new measurement point. And you can see that we've successfully added the new measurement point. So now we want to move to our second adjustment point. In this case, we've selected 50% RH. Again, tapping the vial, breaking carefully at the perforation, emptying the contents onto a new fiber disc pad. Carefully discard the glass ampule, place the sample cup into the sample cup holder, and again, put your Rotronic water activity probe on top of the sample cup holder. Make the change on the screen under the Cal settings, drop down menu. We will move to 50%, verifying our temperature stability and RH stability are at 0.1 and 0.01 .01 respectively. Once we've made these selections, we want to save. The green bar at the top indicates we've successfully saved these settings. We're going to start a new measurement by pressing the green start button in the lower left-hand corner of the display. As before, the two spinning arrows indicate that we are now in measurement mode. And again, this could take 30 to 60 minutes for the result to be completed. So as you can see, our second measurement point at 50% RH has completed, as evident by the OK icon next to the result. We want to once again go ahead and save that calibration point. And as you can see in the reference table now, it indicates both of our measurement points, the 35 and the 50% RH. From here, we want to complete with our third humidity standard. And it's important to note, we do not hit the adjust button at this point. It is only until we've completed the number of measurement points that we will adjust. We will add an additional measurement point, again, with the orange plus icon, and confirm OK. We've now added the next measurement point, and we can go and complete our sample preparation as we've done previously. We want to start with a fresh fiber disc pad. We have our next humidity standard, 80% RH. We've tapped the vial, so the contents are at the bottom. Once again, at the perforation, carefully break the glass ampule and empty the contents onto the fiber disc pad. Once the full content has been emptied, again, carefully discard the glass vial, place the sample cup into the sample cup holder, and place the Rotronic water activity probe onto the sample cup holder. We want to change the Cal settings to reflect the new humidity standard. In this case, we want to scroll. We've chosen 80% RH. We select that. We verify temperature stability, 0.1, RH stability, 0.01, and we save these settings. Again, green bar at the top indicates we've successfully saved these settings. Now, we're ready to begin the next measurement procedure by pressing the green arrow in the bottom left of the screen. The arrows spinning on the bottom left indicate we are in measurement mode. This measurement will run 30 to 60 minutes. As we see, the measurement has completed. We have the green OK. We want to save the calibration point. So after saving that third calibration point, it brings us to the screen once again. We see now in the reference table that we have our three measurement points saved. It is at this time that we can go ahead and press the adjust button, which will then adjust and calibrate the humidity probe. We want to confirm OK. You have successfully adjusted or calibrated your Rotronic water activity probe. That completes the calibration procedure. For more information, please visit processsensing.com for a full list of manuals, data sheets, and product information.